In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to automatically forward specific emails in Gmail. In a previous video, which will there will be a link to down below, Timmy shows you how you can automatically forward all your emails in Gmail. So that would mean any email that anyone sends to you in your Gmail address would be automatically forwarded to a different address. But in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can automatically forward specific emails in Gmail. So that might mean every time a certain email address sends you an email to your Gmail address, you could have it forwarded on to a specific other address. Or every time someone sends you an email with something in the subject, it gets forwarded and things like that. So it's a lot more custom and it's not forwarding all your emails in the sense that you no longer have to look at Gmail. But it can be good if you want to automatically send certain emails to a different place. So. In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to do that. So when you're in Gmail, the first thing you need to do is add a forwarding address in Gmail. And that is just like what you do if you're forwarding all your emails. But we won't complete those steps. So we'll do the first bit the same and the second bit will be a bit different. So when you're in Gmail, you'll just need to click on this cog icon here and then click on see all settings. And now in this menu here, you'll need to click on forwarding and pop slash IMAP. And now you'll need to click on add a forwarding address. And now you'd need to enter in the address you want to forward it to. So to me, we'll just put that in now. And then you'll just need to click on next. And it will open up this pop up asking you to just confirm that that's the email address you want to forward to. So you just need to click on proceed here. And then that will proceed. And now it will send an email to the address you want to forward to with a confirmation code. So you'll need to go into that inbox. So Timmy will need to go into the inbox of demo at techtimewithtimmy.com. But you'll just need to go into the inbox of whatever email address you're forwarding your emails to. And you'll just need to get that code. So Timmy will go and get that code now. Okay, so now Timmy's gone and found the email from Gmail and Timmy's copied the code. And then you'll just need to come back into Gmail and click on OK. And then you'll have this box here ready for the code. And you'll just need to paste the code in here. And then click on verify. So now it's verified that this is your email address or you at least know the person whose email address this is. And you're not trying to spam them or anything. You're just wanting to forward your emails there. So now this address has been added to your account as a forwarding address. But you'll see it's set to disable forwarding here and you'll actually want to leave it that way because if you enabled forwarding that would just forward all your emails which to me shows you how to do in the other video. But if you want to forward only specific emails you'll actually now need to go and click on filters and blocked addresses here. And now here you'll just need to click on create a filter and this is where you can choose what emails will be forwarded. So if you wanted to automatically forward any emails that are from a certain address, you could put that address in here and that would work. Or maybe any emails that have a certain subject, you could put the subject in here. And then any emails that have something in that subject would be forwarded. Or maybe you just want the email to contain the words. So maybe any email that contains the words tech time with Timmy anywhere in it would be forwarded. So you could do things like that. But for the purpose of this demonstration, Timmy's just going to set it so that any email from Timmy at techtimewithtimmy.com will be automatically forwarded to this forwarding address. So Timmy will put that address in the from address here. So once you've filled out all this and you've set what emails you want to be forwarded, you'll need to click on create filter. You might want to click on the search button because it's blue and it seems like the main button, but that will actually just show you all the emails that match this filter. But you don't actually want to do that. You just want to create a filter. So you just need to click on create filter here. And now you can choose what happens with it. And as we're trying to forward specific emails, you'll just need to click on forward it to here and then choose an address. So click in the drop down menu here. And because we added that address as a forwarding address before, it will now be here. So you can just click on that. And now any emails that are from Timmy at techtimewithtimmy.com 
or any emails that match whatever filter you created will automatically be forwarded to that address. So now you just need to click on create filter and you'll be done. So you will see this warning message here for the next seven days, warning you that some of your emails are being forwarded to that address. And that's just for security reasons in case someone somehow broke into your account and created a forwarding filter like this. It doesn't mean the forwarding will stop in seven days. It just means the message will disappear and the forwarding will continue, but you'll no longer have the message. So that's really cool. And now any email that you receive in Gmail with the filter you chose will be automatically forwarded to a different address, the different address you chose. But if you ever change your mind and you want to stop forwarding emails to that address, you can do that quite easily as well. You can quite easily remove it. So to do that, just click on the settings icon again and click on see all settings to go back into settings and just click on filters and blocked addresses again. And now you'll see this filter here, the one that says matches that and forward to that. So that's the filter we want to delete. And you just need to click on delete here and click on OK. And now that filter will be deleted. So it will no longer forward emails to that address. So. That's really cool. And that's really all there is to forwarding specific emails in Gmail. If you want to forward all your emails in Gmail, as Timmy said before, you can watch the video that's in the link down below and watch that. But that's all there is to this video. So hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below. And Timmy will see you in the next video.